Hello, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, a psychological detective thriller that delves deep into the origin story of the world's greatest sleuth. At its heart, Chapter 1 is an open-world action investigation game with no hand-holding. You are free to explore the exotic and dangerous island of Cardona, take on numerous and challenging side quests, make your own deductions and moral choices, and should push come to shove, bring criminals to justice. We play as Sherlock Holmes, a 21-year-old eccentric, naive, and unheard of for now. We just arrived in Cardona, a Mediterranean island where Sherlock spent his childhood. This homecoming marks the 10th anniversary of his mother's untimely passing, and Sherlock wants to visit her grave and pay his respects. We're accompanied by our best friend Jonathan, or John. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice and we need to spend the night in the hotel before we can proceed to the cemetery. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. John has challenged us to see if we could find the cane's owner on the first try. How we treat our friend will affect our relationship. If we repeatedly ignore John, kill enemies instead of arresting them, or keep failing his requests, our friendship may get worse. We can see what John thinks of our adventures in his diary. Now, let's do as he asks and find the owner of the cane. In Chapter 1, we can approach virtually anyone and ask them about the information we are looking for. To do that, we need to select or pin the right evidence, the one we want to know more about. Let us select the cane's evidence and see if someone has seen the owner. Is this familiar to you? I'll help you, sir. You have my full attention. Hey, boy! That's my cane! It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? We can use Sherlock's observation skill to learn more about this person. Whether or not we make the right deduction may influence the flow of our conversations. And because Sherlock's skills are not honed yet, it is possible to get it wrong. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. Let's skip ahead. What seemed to be a boring night is rapidly spiraling out of control. We go from identifying the cane's owner to a hunt for a missing diamond, and finally, a gruesome murder. We now have two suspects in play. We've already questioned both of them, inspected the crime scene, and found enough clues to make an accusation. But who should we accuse? To solve this, we need to piece our clues together and find the right criminal. Let's go to our mind palace, where we can combine different clues into theories or conclusions. Based on how many clues we have found and how we interpret them, it is possible to reach completely different verdicts and as a result, accuse an innocent person. If we accuse the wrong suspect, the quest will not fail, so the choice is ours to make. For the sake of this demo, let's blame Lord Craven. You are dangerous, Lord Craven. Beating your servants is one thing, but murder is another. You will not get away with this. Keep in mind, later on there will be more evidence, more suspects, and more choices to make. Some conclusions will be available early, but it does not mean that they're the right ones. Now, let us step outside and explore Cordona. It is a bright, colorful place that offers numerous opportunities to learn more about the world, unearth its treasures, and find new quests, big and small. Some of these quests allow us to bring to light Cordona's many atrocities, 
while others reveal what Sherlock and John's island childhood was like, or even explain how Holmes picked up his iconic items. For example, one of these quests will send us on a chase for a stolen violin. Yes, that very same violin. By the way, we will be able to read more about our adventures in the local newspaper. Interested in some Cordona news? And Sherlock will often bring his findings to the family mansion. Speaking of the mansion, it will serve as a hub during our stay on the island. Most of the Holmes family property was auctioned off soon after Violet's death, and we will need to track it down to restore our home to its former glory. The mansion is also a fundamental part of the main storyline guiding the answers behind its closed doors. Here, we will receive new mail and meet people that will come knocking in pursuit of assistance. Finally, let us take a closer look at our combat system. We carefully examined your feedback on it from the sinking city and revamped the whole concept from the ground up. Our priorities were smarter AI, tighter controls, convincing sound effects, and better pacing. We wanted to create a system that would be more of a puzzle rather than a straightforward shooter and utilize Sherlock's key attributes like a bright mind, agility, and arrogance. Should you enjoy our combat system, you can also test your skills in the danger zone. They pose a harder challenge than quest fights, but offer money rewards that you can spend on new outfits or furniture for the mansion. However, we know that our core audience may find gunfights to be an alien element in the detective gameplay. So, we will give you the option to tweak the difficulties of both investigation and combat, or skip the latter whatsoever. You will have the choice to play the game as you see fit. Thank you for watching this demo. Pre-purchase the game now to receive additional content and subscribe to our social media channels for more news and gameplay. Take care, everyone.